<clears throat> so when we were doing our multi-view drawings last week, what were some of the important things we kind of came up with? Yeah, keep them lined up, right? We wanted the top view to be above the front view. We wanted the right side to be to the side of it, right? What else? Center lines, hidden lines. Yeah, so we used hidden lines. We used some dashed lines for things we couldn't see. We used center lines for the center of axes and things. I get the best view of it without as many hidden lines. Yeah, the front view is the one that the least amount of hidden lines kind of give you the best shape. Well, that's today's lecture. So I think we can go. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, this will make a lot more sense now uh, since we've already kind of done it all. So, remember, we're using third angle projection. That might be on a test somewhere. <laughs> Probably on a test somewhere. And so we're rotating the object, right? We do that, we grab it, we would pull it up to the next view, right? We grab it over here, pull it out to the next view. And remember, it's the same thing as the glass box that we had over there. Then same thing there. So one of the things that we're, when we're doing it, <coughs> Our top view, the depth here, it's the same as the depth of the side view, right? This part, the depth, the same here as it is here. It's not getting wider when I look at it a different way. So that's one thing to check is making sure things line up. Up and down. And making sure they line up across, but also we want these to line up with these. Is there a way we can do that? Miter line. Yeah, we can do a miter line. So if I take this point, draw it across, and that point and draw it up, where they intersect, because this is the front, right? You guys see that this is the front of the part? Oh. This is the front of the part also, right? Mm -hmm. So if I draw up and connect that, Draw a 45 degree line. Now, when that comes over, we go down to there. When this comes over, we go down to there. Oh, should be gone. For a little bit more. There. That one looks better, right? So it goes over, hits the minor line, goes straight down, and they all connect. So that's one way to make sure that these distances are the same as those distances. It also stops you from flipping this part. So if you just measure, sometimes you might go the wrong way and this part comes backwards or stuff happens. But if you project it like this, then it all comes out okay. Project. Right. Yeah, project. So we're always projecting. So we do something here, we project it up, we project it over, then we project that way. If I take one point, so if I take this corner right here, so this corner, I can project it here until I get to that same corner, project it up, so it's the minor line, oops, if I look here, that yeah, corner is not there really, right? There's no corner there, so I can't yeah. predict there. This corner is actually back here, right? So if I project that back to that corner, up, over, and down, it'll make a rectangle. If I had done that first one here, I would have come here, there would have been no corner, but it would have gone all the way to here, it wouldn't have lined up. So then I would have known something's wrong. Okay. So if you're projecting and things don't line up, if you can't make a box at the same point, then something's off. Okay. Questions? Let me clear that off. And see the block. So things connect. 45 degree line is what? Minor line. Use it. Your drawings all have that 
put on it already. If you look at your drawings, they all have your miter line already on there, on the grid. Use it. It'll, it'll make sure that things stay lined up. It's just about every time there's a problem, it's because people aren't using that miter line. Or if they'd used it, they would have caught the problem earlier. Counting squares or dots. Yeah, if you count squares and dots, you get off. If you miscount or you, you lose track or whatever, if you project, you don't have to worry about that, okay? Questions? Yes, no. After lunch, blues. <laughs> so we've already kind of done this one last week. But let me go ahead and actually. We're just, we're just going to skip that. Come back to some examples later on. Or do you guys want to try that out? That was more dimension, wasn't it? What was that? Dimension. It had some, but we'll just, we'll just keep going through, and I'll get you some examples later on and show you how to do it. So, our front view, like we said, was the most descriptive of the part, right? So if I have this part, which should my front view be? Should it be this? No. <clears throat> what about this? No. What about this? Yeah, right? This gives me a lot of information about this part. It gives me the overall shape of it. So that's a really good front view. Could I use this as a front view? Yeah. It could. What you call the views doesn't matter. So if I use this as my front view, I use this as a bottom view, right? Or I could use that as a top view. Would I get the same thing as this is the front view and this is the top view? Yeah. So the name of the view doesn't matter, it's which views you have that does, okay? So don't get caught up on this is the front, this is the top, this is the right. It just does, is this what you need? Yes. The next view has to be related to it, okay? So usually the large, largest view, most complicated view. So if we were drawing a car, what view would be the front view? Yeah, the side of the car. Right? This is a better front view of it because we look at that, we can see what it is. If we looked at just that, the actual front of the car, could we tell much about it? Now you, you could tell, okay, it's tall or short, but you might be able to tell because of the headlights, but really not. But the side of you, you see a lot of detail. So we <clears throat> pick it out. Which one's going to show us the most detail? Then we also want to put in kind of the way that it normally is. So here we have the car. We want to put the wheels down, right? We wouldn't want to put it like this. Which, but that could work. It's at least at a 90 degree. This one that's kind of just any angle, that's going to cause some problems. Are there some things that really you can change it? about this? Yeah. Is orientating this way just as good as doing it that way? Hmm. Or which one would you prefer? Much. Oh, it's the same thing, right? Yeah. So do you want to know what this is? Yeah. What? No, it's, um, it's from Malibu boats for the t where the tow rope goes, the ski boat. <clears throat> and so it, it's normally like this, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be a good way to do it. But our paper is usually sideways, right? So it fits better on the paper this way. So that's fine. But we get to drawing the whole boat, the whole thing going together. Then we want to have the whole thing the right way, right? So individual parts, you can turn them sometimes. You get a full assemblies. You'd want it going the right way. You wouldn't want to draw a trailer up on its end, right? You'd want to draw it where it's sitting down flat. It just looks better that way. But maybe the, the frame piece or something might turn them, that's fine. <clears throat> Questions now? So when we're doing views, we don't always have to do all three views. So in this case, 
this view, that view, kind of gives us all the same information, right? It all gives us is the depth. Oh, let's go. So, on our drawings, there's three main dimensions we have. Anyone know what the three main dimensions are? Yeah. Well, that's if you're in CAD. You got coordinates going. But if we just had something that we're holding, what are the three measurements? Height, width, and depth, right? So we have height. Can you see that? Yeah. Right. Right. Height. So height, width, and depth, right? So we have height, width, and depth. We also have depth squared, right? That's width. And that's height. Right? So each view shows us how many of the dimensions? What? Two, right? Each view, we have height and width, we have depth and height, and width and depth. So each view will show us two dimensions of the three. <clears throat> so on this one, this top view and the side view really don't give us anything different from each other. So we're only going to need one of the two. So now it's which one do we want? We want the, here it's telling us we want the side view and not the top view. Why do you think that is? What's the difference about this setup and that setup? It shows where proximity to the center of it. It shows you where it's at. This one shows that too. But why is this one better than this one? It's easier to read. Why is that? Because it gives you like a better description. Yeah. And and what do you mean a better description? What like that your view, the view of it. Like one is just the side view. So if you were like holding it, like looking at it. But it's still giving you just the depth. But what what's <coughs> what makes this one worse than that? You're on the right track. Is it vertical? I think it's on top. No, no. This one is better. It shows us some. It shows us more. But what does it show us more of? Side. But why is the side better than the top? Here, let me show you another one. Did you see more of it? Yeah, they're kind of there, but not quite. See this one? It's the exact opposite. It's saying to show the top and not the side. Same part, just a little bit different proportion. What do you mean it's bigger? Bigger description of it. But what does bigger do? Give you more of a profile. More of a profile. No, this profile is still a box, right? Just a bigger box. But why is that better than that? And why is that better than that? It's easier to identify. Why? What do you mean it's easier to identify? Broader, so. yeah, it's broader, right? Here, you've got five lines or seven lines, evenly spaced, right? Here, you can see, okay, there's something going on down here, and there's a hole up here. Is that easier to see than that? Yeah. yeah. And same thing here. This one, you see a bunch of lines; they're all right next to each other. Here, you can see, okay, there's something going on in the middle. There's a piece there and a hole in the middle. 
So by spreading out the things, you can see kind of what it looks like better. Is it necessary that if you do this one on a drawing, it's going to get thrown away? No. 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 You can do that. Just this one's better. So right, it's not right and wrong, it's good and poor. It's good practice, poor practice. You can do it. It shows the same thing, just this one's a little bit easier to read. A lot of times it's just, what do you think it's, is better? Here I've got a part that's kind of unfolded, right at top, front, side. <clears throat> it's kind of smashed in there. Got a lot of open space. If you're doing it by hand, you have to do a lot of this planning ahead of time on how you're going to put stuff. If I'm on your computer, you just kind of take it and move it. But how would it? How could we lay that out better? So right now we've got a top, a front, and a side, right? Green side up. Can I just move this up here? Good. We'll move it to the side a little bit. In between the two drawings. But could I just move it the same way it is? I need to turn it, right? Yeah. So if this is my front, and that's my side, can I just do that? Mm -hmm. So I just go to my top and then do a side off the top view instead? That would give me the same exact side view, yeah. but now it's turned 90 degrees. Oops. Like that. Now it fits on the paper better. Same exact thing, just turn so it fits. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. So, when we're picking which views we want, we want to pick the least amount that, as possible. So we want as few views as possible that fully describe it. So we want to see everything about it, but as easy as, as simple as possible. Okay. Also, one of the rules is if you have a hole, you have to show it where it's round. Okay. So if you've got a hole in it, you need to be able to look straight at that hole. If you have a cylinder, you can just see it from the side, right? But if I have a hole in it, I have to look straight down. So there's some things we can have one view of, right? So what, what are some things we can have one view of? So it's a flat part. Yeah. Uh, square. What kind of square? Uh, like, no, like a, a part. Like what kind of, yeah, gasket, right? Gasket's flat. It's all the same thickness all the way through. So we can just do one view of it, and that's all we need. What else would we need, though? If we're doing just one view of it, what else? What other information do we need? The whole size you need? How thick it is. How thick it is. <clears throat> so like this little piece, we can do it just a note, telling us the thickness. A little note, thickness, it's brass, that's all we need to know. We don't need another view, just of a little tiny rectangle. Sheet metal is another big one. When you're punching the sheet metal, you just have the flat pattern, it's just one view. You don't need to see the side view of the sheet metal that you're going to punch. After we bend it, do we need a side view? Yeah. Yeah. Because now it's more complicated. But the flat pattern, just one view. <clears throat> also, we have cylindrical things. Something like that. Is this thing round all the way through? Yeah. No. That. Solid. <coughs> no. Square. Square. It's not round, it's square. So this section right here is square. This section, what shape is it? 
ground. Is it centered on this square? Yes. Yeah, because if it was, it would have to have another drawing that tells us where it is, right? We know that that's centered on there. And there's another round piece and another round piece. Round piece, round piece. What's that note? What's that tell us? No? Yeah. What's well, M20? Anyone know? It's the uh, diameter. It's a hole. It's a hole, or it's a thread, right? Yeah. If M20, anytime you see a number with an M in front of it, that's a metric thread. So this whole part is metric. That's what's here. That tells us the thread, so diameter 49.22, diameter 31, diameter 20. And then this last piece right here, that's our thread. External thread? Yep. <clears throat> so besides seeing this metric here, how else can you tell that this drawing is metric? It's stamped, metric. No, besides, sorry. if it didn't have that metric there, how could you tell that it was a metric drawing? The M20. And besides that. But you can have M20s on an inch part. The decimals? Yeah, no decimals, right? Or the decimals are really big. Yeah. So our smallest number is 20. It's either this part is really big or it's a metric. <laughs> so kind of the rule of thumb is if you see a lot of decimals, a lot of small decimals, or just about everything's a decimal, and your biggest number is like 10 or 15 or less than that, it's inches. If your smallest number is bigger than 10, most likely you're drawing a metric. So those are kind of my guidelines. Even if you don't see a stamp, if you see a drawing that everything's in the 30s and 40s or hundreds, that's probably, a, no, millimeters. It's millimeters. It's metric. Okay? So, kind of get that. Unless you're building like this aircraft carrier or something. So two view drawings, kind of stuff we already talked about, right? Here, this top view and the side view. Side view doesn't show us anything new, right? But why do we need the top view? Why, why don't we do the front and the side? The holes. We've got holes in it. We need to see those holes round. And also we've got some curve here. We can't see that curve here. Because if you just saw those two, you might think this was square. So front top gives us everything. Side, nothing new, don't need it. Especially if you're drawing it by hand, because then you don't have to waste time doing that. <coughs> Here are cylindrical parts that have holes in them. Again, you only need two views. The view here, so you can see all the, the outside cylinders. The view here, so you can see the hole. Top view, it's exactly the same as that, so you don't need it. Right? And in front of that one, same thing, right? Let's figure out how many views some of these need. Okay, how many views does that need? This one. Piece? Yeah, one, right? Then how do we take care of the thickness? Put a note on the bottom. Just like that, right? They just put a note? Yep. That's all we need to do. <clears throat> what about that piece there? And for this, let's say front's this way. Left or right is this way, and top. Two. 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 Which ones? Front um, and top. Yeah, front and top, right? Yeah. Actually, actually, do we need a top? You know, ahead of myself. On this part, can I do just. Just that? Would that be enough? Yeah. Yeah, because I can give diameter there, uh, width. diameter there, and the holes. center line there, keep that lined up. But 
switch is there, and I'm, I'm good, right? And then, of course, the hole. So, I only need one view for that. I just having to line that view up where I can see the hole, I'm good. What about that one? It's the same thing, isn't it? No, no. Well, it's, it's got a flat side. Uh, I think you see at least two. Okay, so now I need to. So now I need the front and the top, so I can see that flat spot. Okay. What about that one? Yeah, top and front. That's enough. That one. One, two, what is it? One. What it? More votes. One. One. One, one right? One. We can decide have a side view of it or front view. Pretty easy page. What about that one? What views do we need? I heard two, that's right. But which ones? Um, just to clarify, this part isn't actually cut open, that's just a section so we can see the inside of it, okay? So this part is actually all the way around. So you know just the front and the bottom. Yeah, front and bottom, right? The so front or side and the bottom. So we need to be able to see that hole. If so we did a top view, we can't see that hole. <laughs> okay? Use one, right? This one. Not a side view, but it might be nice to see what those ribs are like, right? So we might cut those, do kind of a view where we can see, see that, right? For what that rib looks like. That's called a section. We'll spend like three weeks on that. Okay. So sometimes you know, cut it and see what it looks like. It's real helpful. Now the big boy. The big boy. You can see it's showing us a few sections also already. Yeah. So it's probably giving us a hint that we might need those later on. Front, the top, the bottom. All yeah, if we do a bottom, we don't need those sections, do we? So if we did, a, we could do a top, front, a bottom, and then a side, and that might actually give us everything we need. Yeah. Or we can do a top a front, a side, and then a couple sections. I've done drawings where they've had nine to ten, and even more than that, views. So not just three views, but I've seen drawings with 20 views. They do a lot of sections. So, it's, it's as many as it takes. If you can do it in one, great. If you can do it in five, Got a lot of drawing to do, but that's okay. If you need more, then keep going. <clears throat> Which of these is correct, A, B, or C? B. I heard some Bs. What's wrong with A? It's a, it's a bottom. It's not lined up right, or it's not uh, like. It's backwards, right? It's not set up backwards, right. yeah. This, this is the first angle where the bottom's on the top and the right's on the left. <clears throat> but we can see that because this corner right here, we bring it straight up. It should be solid, right? Because that's on the very top. But it's hidden. So that lets us know, okay, it's. It's not right. Same thing here. This one's solid, but we come this way. 
we don't hit that corner first. Right. So let me extend that a little bit. There you go. So when we have the line here, we come backwards to the, to the other view where it came from. If it's solid, the first thing we hit, or hit, or on that level should be our, our corner. But it's not. It's, this whole thing is the same width, but we hit a solid line first. So we know that that's not right. <coughs> what about C? What's wrong with C? It's not right up at all, right? So yeah, B is the right one. So another reason we'll show multiple views is to see the shape of something. So if I just show you that with A, B, and C, what does that part look like? Can you get, have some guesses of what that part might look like? Just looking at it from the top, you see three rectangles like that. One is going to be like this, and then maybe this one is a little higher than that one. So could that be right? Yep. What about that? Yep. What about that? Yep. No. Or angles. Yep. Yeah. Because yep. if I look straight down, that's just one yeah, surface. Yeah. B could do the same thing going that way. It could go in a different way. A could tilt. Or I could have curves in there. Yeah. Yeah. Right? All right. So that top view is going to be the same for all of them. So that's why another reason why we'll have different views sometimes. <clears throat> okay. So maybe on the right side, it, all it does is show us one of these little things that might be a reason to have another view. So maybe it go from two to three views just to see one of these little things, to see what that shape is like. Okay. All right. So let's do some little practice things. So which one of those is correct? A, B, C, or D? If we're looking at it from the side. I heard a B. I heard an A now. So let's look at it. Is A right? No. They're not hidden lines. You can't see it. Okay. Those, these are solid, right? Yeah. Do you see any lines right here? So that can't be A. So let's look at B. Anything wrong with B? It has hidden lines all the way through. That's hidden lines all the way through. Do we have hidden lines all the way through here? Okay, one of the rules is if you can't see it, if there's a little cutout, and if you can't see it stop, it goes forever. That's one of the, the rules. So we don't see anywhere where this cutout comes back like that, right? Right. And we don't see anything here showing us the top of that. So assume they go all the way through. So, we assume this cut out. Goes all the way down. Back there. So that, we assume these cutouts go all the way through on the back side. So, yeah, B's right. Why is D wrong? Yeah, because there's hidden lines up here, right? That it's not showing. What about that one? C. <coughs> C. The other one, who else vote for C? I like C. Yeah, C's good, right? <clears throat> so another way we can tell is the shape and the number of shapes. So here, if we look at our part, we've got a rectangle, little square there, right? Then we've got this kind of upside down J shape. So that means if we're looking at it from that direction, we should have the same number of shapes and this, the same kind of shape. So, an upside down J shape and a little square. A, I've got too many things. 
B, we've only got one thing. And D. Two fat, two square. No, it's the same thing. No, it's the line. The line, right? Oh, the bottom line. Because here it's open. That that is telling you that there's something back in here filling it up. And again, we don't see anything in there to tell us that there's something there. Okay? <clears throat> At the top. shape, a couple rectangles, we've got a hidden rectangle here, right? Any questions so far? Is this going to be on the test? This is all we're doing all semester. Oh, okay. If you're having problems with anything today, make sure you let me know. What about that? Look after this direction. D, D, D. Yeah, do you just have this face and that face, yeah, right? Yeah, two L's. <laughs> All right, let's take a little break. Um, come back at 10 till, and we'll keep going and actually go through the steps.